Hey, how's it going guys? JK here. Guess what is the most important thing in Fallout 76? No, it's not being able to kill mobs quickly or finding water or food to survive in the wasteland. The single most important item in Fallout 76 is... Screws! Stay tuned and I'll tell you why. I'm sure you'll agree with me that sooner or later we all realize that more than caps or scripts, screws are the actual currency of this amazing game. We all need them all the time for crafting and repairing armor and weapons to survive and advance in the wasteland. In this video, I'll show you that finding 40 screws in Fallout 76 is easy. This easy! You most likely know the most popular locations, but for the sake of being thorough, I'll touch on them lightly. Once we've covered them, I'll then take you by the hand and lead you through a lesser known, but very reliable location. Your first stop should be the White Spring Resort. Because this is so popular, it's often already looted, but still worth checking because it's not hard to do and I often get lucky, so cover it anyway. To save you time, there are only three locations you need to check around the White Spring Resort. The first is the military section of the White Spring Bunker, which is located to the south of the White Spring Resort and the White Spring Service Entrance. Keep in mind that the only way to gain access to the main bunker is to first complete the Bunker Buster quest. In the military section, you'll usually find a minimum of four to five desk fans and also a hot plate and tongs in the brig. If you're up for the search, there are other antique globes and hot plates scattered around the many rooms of the bunker. The second location, which is inside the actual White Spring Resort Hotel, does not require the Bunker Buster quest to gain entrance. Head straight to the toy store, located near the end of the hall, which is lined left and right with various shops. Here you should find some toy cars and possibly a giddy up buttercup waiting for you to grab. The third location is the Presidential Cabin, which is the crown jewel of the cottages of the White Spring. The Presidential dwarfs others with its size and splendor. However, be ready for some resistance from a host of various mobs. If you go upstairs, you'll find a child's room which usually has two to four cars and a giddy up buttercup for you to grab. There's a couple of other useful items in the room and as well in the bathroom, I was lucky enough to find a stealth boy. Make your way downstairs, turn right, go down the first flight of stairs and the second past the vintage room and the next one to the right. This is where you will find two Christmas trees. It's a beautiful sight, all lit up. There's a giddy up buttercup, there's toy cars, a toy truck up on the wall and some other toys and useful items. So make sure you pick up everything that is valuable. A typewriter, there's money in the till. I nearly crapped in my pants. I was unlocking the register and didn't realize I was standing on top of a ghoul. Yes. <laughs> Hey, he must have been in a deep sleep, that's for sure. And then as I turned around, I was greeted by another. Anyway, guys, pick up the loot and behind the door, there's another teddy bear, which has got screws in or a screw. And you might as well pick up anything else there. The telephone and then we'll head through the hole in the wall. And in the next little shop, there's another fan, which of course has also got a screw in it. Before we count the screws, I wanted to show you what I found in this bus. It was a pretty neat find. So it's just outside the workshop at White Springs Resort. So be sure to check it out if you're down there. Anyway, guys, let's 
go and take a look at how many screws we've got. Keep in mind, I had seven already in my inventory. So how many have we got now? Okay, so that's 31. That makes it 24. Not too shabby, guys. Definitely worth the run. With the white spring screw run under our belt, we're now headed for the abandoned bog town. And we're going to spawn in at pylon V13. So we spawn in somewhere around here. Lock and load. Okay. Now, guys, I have... Let me just show you where we're headed firstly so that you, you know what our target destination is. We're headed uh, for between the two brown buildings there. The tall one and the other one. Just in the middle between them is an alleyway with a fire escape. Now I see there's a behemoth over there at the moment. So I'm going to come around the front of the building. I think we might have less enemies today. Just lock and load. Uh, okay. Gosh, I hope that's the last. Okay, all seems quite... Let's grab our loot quickly. I think somebody else has already been here for that because that super mutant hound is killed. There's another mutant enforcer, but he can't see me. He's too far. So let's just snug the buildings and keep close uh, so they don't see us. Okay, it's this alleyway here. So we want to make our way up this fire escape. As I say guys, you can normally sneak in without encountering any enemies here. I've done it many times. Hop through this hole in the wall. This is not where the screws are, but there's a lot of other useful loot here. There's a bag of cement, and yeah, there's tools and duct tape. That's good for steel and lead in the combination wrench. And there's another four bags of cement there. And guys, look around. There's also a sledgehammer normally on that floor. Then we head back up to the roof. Let's just lock and load before we break the horizon here. And we're going to hop down this mine shaft. And look at that, guys. There's our entrance into Screws Delight. <laughs> Let's just check how many screws we've got before we uh, loot this place. Zero. That helps us. Right, guys. Grab everything. Typewriters have got screws in. Um, of course, well, pencils for lead. Um, definitely. Just take it all. There's loose screws in that uh, cabinet. F uh, desk fans, of course. Screws. Typewriters, thank you. Coffee cups I also use typewriters yes I don't need a dog bowl today telephones have got I think gears I use gears oh yeah I get put my foot in the trash can again All right, typewriters yes telephones thank you A whole pack, wonderful. Guys, don't be like me. You see that globe above the cabinets? I forgot to take it. In fact, I forget to take two. In the next aisle across also, there's a globe, which I don't take. So don't be like me. Don't be too hasty. Haste makes waste. So, um, here's a hot plate. Uh, that's got, uh, a, is it a screw in or a circuit? I forget now. Anyway, rather err on the side of caution. Right, I think we're pretty much done. There's a, a clipboard that springs. That's got springs, another typewriter. Grab that, thank you. Yeah, the coffee cups are good for ceramic. Pencil for lead.
And there's another globe, antique globe, which I forget to take, guys. Honestly, story of my life, always in a rush. So there's two screws we're gonna, you know, we could have had. Typewriter, thank you. Put it in the bag. Uh, we don't need beer. Another battered clipboard, that's another spring. Hey, some caps, cool. More ceramic. And then, uh, so yeah, that's all good. And I finally actually wake up and I take this globe. <laughs> Anyhow. Right, let's have a look. They have 14 screws. Nothing wrong with that, guys. As I say, you can get to this location by sneaking in without encountering any enemies. So it's a piece of cake. I haven't managed to successfully respawn straight away with this method. I'm still trying to work out to see what sort of time needs to evolve. And on the way out here, there's an acid uh, deposit. So I grab myself some acid. And then uh, suddenly I realized that I've been spotted by the behemoth. And here he comes. Epic behemoth. Now there's not much point in me trying to shoot him out in the open. Uh, so I'm just going to head back into that alleyway because I know for a fact that he can't get in there. The same alleyway where we went up in the fire escape. So guys, if you encounter him, just come into the alleyway. And for some reason, I'm just checking that I'm, my back is covered. There's nothing to worry about there. There he is, guys. Look at him. It's as if the AI glitches and he fixates on me and he doesn't move now because he can't get in here. You know, he's not the sharpest tool in the stash box, that's for sure. So I'm going to try the missile. Let's see if that puts a dent in his head. Not a scratch, eh? <laughs> How's that? Not a scratch. He doesn't even flinch. I think he might be AFK. Let's try to put some lead in him. Okay, now it's moving. Now he's waking up. He's going to hurl something at me now. I know these guys. They end up throwing uh, rocks and whatever they can get their hands on. Uh, now we are shifting his health pretty fast. I'm sure he's going to wake up or the AI will wake up suddenly. At least his health is registering and I'm not wasting my ammo. There you see, he's woken up. Look, now he's... There you go, he threw a brick straight into my camera. <laughs> okay, let's just get a stump back going here. We can finish him off now. Cheers, buddy. You're all mine. You're going down, big fella. Just like that, eh? 20 caps, guys. How's that? 20 caps just for shooting him. Man. Hey, syringes and another 18 caps. That's like 38 caps and all that loot. Man, I don't know. It's just satisfying to take this big bugger down. Right, let's crunch the numbers. The White Spring Bunker Hotel, Presidential Suite and other boutiques got us 31 screws. Subtract 7 screws I had in my inventory, which leaves us with 24. Now we add to that the 14 from Abandoned Bogtown totals 38. Then add in the two antique globes I forgot to take brings us to a grand total of 40. Better than a kick in the pants. And let's not forget, we didn't search the other rooms in the White Spring Hotel and the White Spring Bunker. Doing that will net you at least another 5 to 10 screws. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you learned something new, subscribe. If you don't, well I'll just kick you in the face. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.